Hello, my friends. Am I live? I'm not quite sure. Am I live? Anybody there? Somebody let me know if I'm live. Am I live? Can't see anybody. looks like it hi Nina okay all right I'm live thank you for joining me I'm happy you're there so, get that out of the way. so let's work tonight a little more on this little chair welcome welcome let's bring color to our lives our Thursday evening life my name is Angela I'm the owner of creative energy from Elvin Hill my Instagram um, I am the creative energy behind Elf and Helden. I look crap. It's so hot over here. Mm -hmm. Um, behind Elf and Helden and I am the German distributor for Dixie Bell Paints and for Woody Band and Post Shock. So when you join me, just say hi to me and let me know where you're watching from. I'm happy that you're there. Send me some hearts. Mm -hmm. Hello, my love. Hi, Solly. Happy to see you, our Would You Bend Queen, personal. <laughs> so, last week in our German life, we've just um, I've been working further on this chair. And um, now we're going to continue. That's what we've done there. There's going to go another trim down here. So I'm going to do that off screen because there was too much, uh, not, not enough time. So we will add a trim to this one um, also. Yes, we've applied that already last week. And today we're going to work a little with, um, I've done a little blending on the legs. That's already done. And now we have that trim on the bird that trim I'm saying that ornament from the from the new woody bands on the back and um, as I need as I need a certain width which I don't have in a trim I'm going to work with two trims and I'm going to paint them beforehand so I was I wasn't sure if I'm going to use a trim or not but uh, in the German life we decided we do so we're going to do that on this one also hi sissy I'm happy you're there so um first thing we're going to do we're going to um paint the trim woody bands when they are in a cold state they behave like wood and you can um sand them you can drill them you can saw them whatever if it's fragile you can break them of course and when they are warm they, they get nice and soft so you can bend them around those corners and you can cut them and everything we're also going to do some stenciling later. I've got the wrong way around. The chandelier we're going to use because I think those tassels they go perfect because this is basically um, a chanois is like um, it's like from whatever um, from the theater or something like that. So I thought like those tassels they go perfect with it. We're going to have a little bit of stenciling on the top and there. So that's but that's come gonna come later. Let's first paint the trim. You can paint um, the ornaments before or after you've applied them. And uh, you can use any paint you can think of. You apply them with a good uh, quality. Would you bend Heimann Hase? 
Hi, Ute. Hi, Michelle. I'm happy you're there. So, okay. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Tanya. Thank you guys for joining me. That's great. Happy you are there. So we're first going to paint the, the trim. I'm first going to measure and cut that. I know I need about, uh, about 145 to 150, so I'm going to cut the uh, trim first. And then we're going to paint, paint it quickly. I'm using two trims, as I said, because the, um, because the, let's see. I'm going to have a little gap in between. I have to be a little careful so I'm not breaking it in the middle. Um, I'm going to warm it up. This is basically where they um, are come when you order two of them. And you can also use that for warming up your, that's my heat gun, warming up um, your woody band. Hang on guys, I'm gonna bring you down so you can see what I do. You can use any paint. You can even stain those. This is the trim seven, um, 702 and the trim 33 I'm using. That one is still from the first generation and that one is one of the new ones from the second generation. I'm going to be painted black. This time I'm going to paint them beforehand because um, the chair is basically almost finished. So let's see if there's already enough. When you work with a heat gun, be careful. Yes, it is very hot, obviously. So that's down. And just going to measure that. Use a sharp knife to cut it. And the end, just put it back in the coil and keep that. You may reuse it for a small project or you can add them onto each other. So this is, has now the right length I'm needing. So I'm letting that cool. Don't need that anymore because the other one I can measure next to this one. I'm going to leave it like that for now for painting. So do the same thing with this one. <laughs> yes, Michelle, I'm measuring. So um, it does mean that it works. We worked out the first in the German life. I'm not sure if it's going to work out on this life also. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. So guys, when you join, you just say hi to me. Also on Instagram, I'll be happy to see you who's uh, watching. Mm, I just love that smell. So. Thanks. About to there and cut it. Go. Also going to keep that. Obviously, this is a thin trim, guys. You gotta work a little careful with it because it is a lot more fragile than the other one. But for now, be careful about burning myself. You can see Michelle already panicking. See me having a heat gun next to me. So I'm going to have that cool down a little bit because they intend to go into their original shape. Um, and um, okay. Way for now. I have my, so I don't want to mess this in here completely up. 
and to lay that on here just for painting just for painting guys just for painting so when they cool down they stay in the shape you're forcing them into um, till they cool down they intend to go to their original shape but um, when they're cooled down, they stay in the shape you force them into. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for being with me. So, um, it's going to be painted black. I need another mold brush. No, guys. Sorry. I need another mold brush. Post chalk mold brush. One of those synthetic brushes they are perfect for um painting especially molds because they go nicely into the details of the mold i'm using caviar chalk mineral paint by hi kiki hi to greek wow how's the weather in greek it's steaming hot here so okay let's get going so when you paint molds, you go in a swirly motion to make sure you hit all the, the details and stuff like that. You can use a little water when the paint is a little thicker, just to make sure you hit all the details. You can stipple, swirly motion. There you go. There you go. As I said, you can paint them beforehand, you can paint them afterwards. The reason I'm painting this one beforehand because the rest of the chair is already finished and I don't want to have any of the black paint on the um, on the decoupage and the painted bits. So that might be not the most exciting part, but um, if you have any questions, guys, just shoot them through. Just shoot them through. If I get any paint on the back of the mold, I'm not bothered because this is the wood glue. It's going to stick anyway if there is paint on it or not. That doesn't bother the trim and that doesn't bother the glue either. Either. Lavon. Oh, Lavon. That'll be sweet if you catch the replay. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for popping in. So. This will probably be one of my overlong um, lies. The German life before it is always a bit tight because I have to catch the English life, but afterwards I have time. And I want to get those chairs finished tonight. So, so we're going to add one trim for now and then we're going to do the rest. And if you have time at the end, we can add the second trim also but um, the reason I'm using two trims is because I need a certain width and there's only one trim but I've used that trim for so many times I want to have something different so the trims they come in all different widths If you have a mold which is very intricate, you it might be that you need a little more paint to catch all the details. But you can see that um, this molding brush is just perfect for it. It's perfect. So we had about almost 40 degrees in temperature yesterday over here it was steaming hot 
I received yesterday a palette of paint from Dixiebel, which had about 600 kilos. <laughs> so there was no time to rest. I'm going to be a little careful here because there's, um, I might put that, move that a little up here for now for painting. I only use um, one coat as firstly the paint covers really well and the molds they are porous so they're sucking in also the paint so the coverage is just great. Did I say you can use any paint? You can even stain those, you can use a wood stain if you want to keep like the um, original wooden color a little more. Can do that also. Here's a gap. If I would press on here, obviously I can break the trim. If I do that, I can fix that. That's no trouble. But uh, rather have it in one in one go. So almost done. The first one. And then I'm going to do the second one. At that time, this one can dry. Second one is going to be a little quicker because it's not that intricate. This one is very intricate with those um, swirly things. I'm going to catch your questions in a second, guys. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, please come over to my page and leave it a like there. Also, the Woody Man Germany page. My page, Open Pen, Woody Man, Dixiebel, just everybody, give us some love. So, that's one done. Um, oh, it's uh, unreal, yeah. So, um, scorching, do you say that in English? Okay. Yeah, it was steaming out here. So, I mean, it's a couple of days and it'll be fine again. So, I don't, I'm not bothered with the heat. So, that's not that much of a trouble. But as I said, pairing the paint yesterday. Um, and today I had like a pellet of uh, paper coming in. So, <laughs> I guess um, they've all chosen. Go in a spurly motion into the details. It makes your life easier. As I said, you can use some water. Guys, if you have some questions, I'm hurrying up, I'm hurrying up. This was basically a last minute decision to use the trim, so otherwise I would have had to pair them. However, this is supposed to be fun. You know me, my projects develop this. Is the with the work I'm doing on it. I always know roughly what I want to do, but uh, some things will never change, guys. Some things will never change. So let's see, same thing here. There's like a gap between those tables, so I don't want to break it. Emotions. So you can see this one goes a lot quicker as it is not as intricate as the other trim. Stippling, swirling, brushing, everything's allowed to catch the details. And just use a little more paint. I usually say less is more, but uh, this paint and trims. It's, uh, it'll be stuck up by the, the mold anyway. I mean, it's not blobby, but um, so there we go. That's it. That's it. Let's see if I got everything. Anybody can still see a spot I didn't catch. To the side for now. So now when I start working with them, oh, I've got to put the other brush into the water. Sorry, guys. 
Sorry guys. But otherwise the paint will dry on me. I don't want that. Heat gun. Oh yes, for sure you're not used to it. Ah, yes. So I'm warming it up again and putting it back into a coil because it's a lot easier to work with. I love my English lessons. Yeah, it's just perfect. So the trims are a lot easier to control when they are in the color. It's the perfect weather to work with the heat gun, guys. And um, you can basically, you can heat them up with the heat gun, with a hair dryer that works also. It may take a little longer, but you can use a hair dryer also. It's hot. So while I'm here, this is the start of the trim while it's still um, warm. I'm just going to cut it off. This is from the manufacturing. It, it might be just like um, flattened out a little bit. So I don't want to have a flat end. So I'm just cutting the edge off. And this is something I'm not going to keep. I usually keep every bits and pieces of my wood bands, but um, this I'm not going to keep. So. thing is warming it up like this it's going to dry the paint at the same time Now. If I miss little bits and pieces on the trim painting, I can fix that with a little brush at the end so I'm not. Um, I'm not too worried about that. So put that back here. Put that this way. Ta-da! So, Shanwa. Shanwa, Sawa. Mmm. Oh, I do love him. Hi, Vanessa. I absolutely do love him. Unfortunately, when I ordered my last order, they had to order yet. So, but they're going to come in with my next order, definitely. Yes. You saw that correctly, Sarah, but I haven't got them here yet. So now I'm just going to prepare my helping hand. So I'm going to bring you up first, guys. I'm going to bring you up first. Back to the chair. Going to apply the trim now. Mm. Okay, 
I'm going to start again at the back. I just like to start that's the way it is. So the trim stays uh, warm pretty long. I'm going to hurry up and you know, put my glue. There is my glue. To apply them, use some good wood glue. I'm using um, Tight Bond Quick and Thick, which is my favorite. And I'm going to work a little bit in sections for the glue not to dry too quick as it is still steaming hot here. So spread it out to the bits of the trim and everything which is being basically squeezed out you can take off with a baby wipe or just a damp brush however if you have a very intricate um, intricate mold baby wipes are my best friends so now let's get that thing on there see if it's still warm i'm going to warm it back up again So I'm first going to lay that out to, so that's good. I've got the tape right on the other side now. That's me. Smart, smart Mrs. Bailey. This is my helping hand. Sorry if my head is in the way. I've just got to see what I'm doing here at the moment. So just got to see what I am doing. So, and the, the chair has got like, it's not only got shaped like this way, it's shaped this way also. But uh, you can, you can basically shape those molds any direction. That's what I am doing. But I'm laying it down generally for now, and then I'm going to go around again to. So I'm not going to twist it for now. Just get the idea what I'm doing. It's just quicker instead of me. Make sure you have the whole surface covered with the glue to make sure your trim stays the right amount of not glue there. So I just want to put some here. It's so hot here, I can feel that drying while I'm applying it. So and when you feel, as I said, this is the third generation, so they stay warmer and flexible a little longer than the first generation but uh, even so uh, helping hand just to keep that in position even so i'm going to run that up a little more now Also, the third generation, when they've been heated through nicely, um, they reheat also nicely. So, because they don't lose, as I said, the heat as quick as the first generation. And um, okay, I'm not sure if this is long enough. I may have mismeasured. Panic mode. Going to be long enough. Panic mode. Would be absolutely me if I cut that too short. Let's see. Let's see. 
you could use a brush for applying the glue you know me i like it to to use my fingers i like to use my fingers always no it's long enough Ooh, lucky <laughs> okay switch off panic mode everything's under control it's even too long i've been wasting a bit guys oh this is going to look lovely i already like it I'm just going to the glue is white to start with but it's going to um to dry transparent clear so you won't see it at the end this is looking lovely already It is not completely down. So I'm first going to cut this end off here. Repeat that. Repeat that. Knife. Where's my knife? There. Who else is like me? You can see how nice and soft that is. Just nicely in there. There we go. Now I can. That's a little too short. You can stretch those to basically fit to the other end that's what i've just done i'm just holding it down for a second till it's um that's the trick i'm gonna go quickly back around to just get that completely off like the the biggest mess I'm just taking off is that baby wipe for now. So then I'm going to reheat that and press that nicely on there, but it really sits pretty, pretty good. So what do you think? Hi, Jill. Coco, Michelle. Hmm. Thank you, Sissy. So when I'm pressing it on, especially on the edges, just that it gets like Good contact. Baby wipe. Wipe off the glue, which is just like squeezing out. So, there we go. And just there. I'm gonna close my glue first, guys, because otherwise this will go. It's gonna go quickly around to have it like sit nicely. This is basically a step to make sure that the edges and that the, the mold has good contact. So because I've basically just been laying that down um, roughly, 
but roughly was already pretty good, I must say. It already sits pretty nice on here. It sits pretty nice on here. And the other trim is going to go underneath. I'm not going to do that now. We're going to do some stenciling now. Give that uh, mold a bit time to settle down also. Or that trim. thing is when you really squash or squeeze not squash <laughs> squeeze the edges down of your ornaments or trims or whatever you're applying they're going to appear at the end like they've been there from the beginning on like many manufactured onto your project so that's the that's the whole idea behind it it so looking good I like it everything else I can catch later but I think that's pretty fine don't even need the tape anymore the glue is holding up already. So, guys. How are you? Anybody is still with me? Anybody still with me? So, close your mind. Wait. So, let's, 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 let's do some stenciling. So, first stenciling. Who's fighting me? There we go. So, as I said, I've chosen the chandelier stencil from Posh Talk. Thank you, Michelle. That's so sweet. So sweet. So here we go. And I'm not going obviously I'm not going to use the, the whole stencil the whole stencil, just parts of it. But I think those look at those tassels. I think they're ever so cute. I love those. And this is like uh, this is like um, a poster from a theater or something like that. Um it's French. Um it says Bosche more La très illustre compagnie du Chanois avec ses pieds d'ombre, bla 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 bla, uh, avec Rudolf Sally. So I think this goes the chandelier and those tassels go just ever so sweet with it. So let's see where we want to have it. Let's see that you can see. How can you see a little better? Can you see? Instagram can't see. Actually, I'm going to put that chair down, I think. I'm going to put that chair down. And then I'm going to bring it down. It's not the nicest working position. But I think you can see better that way. What do you think? Bring you a little down. I can see better also what I'm doing because I don't want to cover the cut but I want to have some of the and I don't want to have full coverage either I'm going to stencil with um, 
this caviar and also this barn red those are the colors which i already used so there are the ones i'm going to use even further i'm just going to throw my mold brush into the water because otherwise it's in and there we go i think that's so cute that stencil i'm using the posh Shop premium stencil brush for it which is this one it's a little wider than other brushes it's it's got uh, i think they're natural bristles i have to lie guys i have to lie i'm not quite sure to ask i think i think I think they are. So I'm just going to need a tiny little bit of caviar, which I'm just going to put in my lid. And again, on red, I'm just shaking up. I'm using the paint out of the lids as I don't need much. I have my I have my paper towels just to wipe the brush off i'm going to start this caviar so i'm picking up some of the paint i'm i'm working it into the the brush and then i'm just um taking some of the of it off because i don't want to have full coverage now and then i'm just going to Let's see. Stipple motion. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Stipple, stipple, stipple. A little more paint. It's almost too dry. That's probably also because the weather is just so hot here. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. As I said, I don't need full coverage. Just tassels here. Get some of those might come in with the barn red in a second. But don't mind if there is some bleeding so i'm just going to as the brush is almost almost dry it should be pretty much fine let's see where the cat is so a little more black and underneath the stencil gluing down sometimes helps My brush is almost dry, so I might be okay like this. So now I'm going to come in a little bit barn red. I'm using the same brush, so I'm not worried about contamination. To the black so this is like a little bit of blending and the more I'm going to use the red the cleaner my brush or the clearer the red will become up here it gets a bit tricky it's 
So I think that's it. Let's see what we've done. Yes. I think I like that. What do you think? What do you think? Thank you, Sully. Are you still there, darling? Appreciate that very much. Appreciate that very much. So. I think that's quite sweet. I think I want to have a little tassel up there. So I'm just going to put that there. Just in here. I love those tassels. I think they're ever so cute. Yeah, that's it. So now a little bit on the top. Oops, sorry. A little bit on the top there. And let's see. Just need a baby wipe because with my brush I'm a bit out of control. It's right on the So, let's see, I'm going to need some tape now, as I want to, I want to have some tassels up here also, I'm going to use that middle part, so that's pretty good to line up as this is the middle, this is the middle leg. Just going to fix that here. Yes, I'm taping something, guys. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes I do. Is this about straight? I think this is about straight. Tape. Tape. And you don't have to use, you know, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to go back to black. <laughs> back to black. Wasn't there a song? Back to black. Just working that into my brush with the red still in there. Said I don't need a clear impression. It's a bit of a tricky hang on. This it's been moving. Hang on, guys. If it moves, don't panic. Just put it back on. Fix it again. There you go. This is shaped in all directions. Obviously, the stenciling it helps if you have like a solid background. Now, you'll make the best of it. And it 
which helps also if you have the tank next to you. So, let's see. Just having it fade out. There we go. There we go. That's good. I like that. I'm thinking of having some more tassels on the outside. Almost 50 minutes. Anybody still with me? Ah, that's right. Thank you, Michelle. I think I've got to let that dry a little before I carry on with my tassels. I'm a bit crazy with the tassels, and I? But I just love them. They're so cute. They are so cute. Another tassel there. And I'm going to put something in between also. I just want to need another. Table my fingers now. Working upside down, this is not the perfect working position, but tassels, no, I don't like this one. You know what the nice thing is about water-based paints? As long as it's not dry, grab a baby wipe. Just wipe it off and you start again. So I'm just going to let that dry now. Let's see what else there. Just want to use some parts of that. Um, just want to have that little flower. As I said, obviously this is not the perfect position and not the perfect size, but even so, we are getting there, what I want to do. So, let's see. Better. Now, that's how I like it. That's how I like it. And having this one right next to it. And should have laid the chair on its back. There you go. That's it. There you go. What do you think? That's quite cute, isn't it? It's quite cute. The chanois. Okay. One hour. I'm going to let you go, guys. I'm going to add a second trim without you. I think I'm satisfied with my stenciling. So I'm going to have a little more on there. Otherwise, it'll just get too much. Put it back up. Put you back up. 
Instagram up. Oops. There you go. So I'm sweating. I need my coffee. Oh, that was a little me. I ring light in my glasses again, which makes it a little bit stupid. So, my friends, I hope you liked what we've done tonight. Um, thank you, Michelle. Sexy cat. Yes. Cats are sexy, aren't they? <laughs> so, I'm so happy you joined me tonight. <laughs> Got tape all over me and just everything. So, my friends, let's bring color to our lives. Thursday evenings are ready over again. Um, whoever was with me, thank you ever so much. I really appreciate you. Um, if you watch replay, also you, I'm happy that you've been there. Um, and when you watch replay potential replay into the comments who hasn't done it yet please follow my pages would you in germany and uh elfen helden that'll be absolutely fantastic if you want to shop the products you can catch them with um our retailers or obviously with me also and uh, i'm wishing you a very happy evening a great weekend i hope you have something nicely planned and I will see you next week. Thank you, Sarah. It's a pleasure having you here also. So Instagram, also you, thank you for being with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I see you next week. Ta-da. Bye, everyone.